Every app has a private storage area on an Android device that it can use to read and write files. That private storage area is called internal storage. The API for reading and writing files on Android has a number of helpful methods. For example, for getting the internal storage directory, accessing a file in that directory, and creating file input and output streams. In this video, we'll use the file API to write drop data to internal storage as files, and we'll also switch from the shared prefs repository to a file repository. We're going to use a type adapter to let JSON convert drop data for writing into files. Create a new file drop type adapter in the model package that extends from type adapter of drop, and then add the required type adapter overrides. For now, just have the read method return null and add the necessary code to the write method to use the JSON writer to write a drop. We've also added a throws annotation to the write method to indicate that it could throw an I.O. exception. Next, create a file repository object in the model package, which implements the drop repository interface. Hit Control I to implement the drop repository methods, and just return an empty list in get drops for now. Create a JSON property for the file repository and use a custom getter to build the JSON instance with a registered drop type adapter. Add a getContextHelper method to get the app context. Next, create a drops directory method, which returns the drops directory in internal storage by calling getDir on the context. Getter will create the directory if it does not exist. We're passing context mode private to ensure that the directory is accessible only by our app. Create a drop file method, which retrieves a file object using drops directory. Now create a helper drop file name, which uses the drop ID to create a file name for the drop. We're using the extension .drop to indicate drop files. Create a drop output stream method to get an output stream to write to.
Drop output stream uses the other helper methods we added to get a drop file to write to. Now write the drop to a file inside the add drop method. First, we convert the drop to a JSON string using JSON. Then we get the output stream and write the string as a byte array. Next, we close the stream. We use a try-catch block in case there is an I.O. exception, for example, running out of disk space on the device. With the file repository set up now for writing drops, let's switch to using it in the injection object. Before we build and run the app, since we've switched from using shared prefs to the file repository, let's clear data for the app. Now build and run the app. Make a few drops. Now restart the app and you'll see that no drops are shown, since we have not yet implemented get drops. But we can use Device File Explorer to navigate to internal storage and open a drop file. Open Device File Explorer from the View Tool Windows menu. From there, you can navigate to the app storage using the package name. and you can see the drops directory we made along with a file for each of the drops. Double click on a drop file to open it in Android Studio.